welcome all in this lecture we are going to discuss the lattice structure realization for the given fir filters this is the learning outcome at the end of this session students will be able to draw the lattice realization structure for a given fir system let us uh, begin the development by considering a sequence of fir filters with the system function let us consider a sequence of fir filters h of z sorry h of z is equal to a m of z where m is equal to 0 1 2 up to m minus 1 so let us call this one as equation number 1 where by definition am of z is the polynomial so which can be written as am of z is equal to 1 plus summation k equal to 1 to m alpha m alpha m of k z to the power minus where m is greater than or equal to 2 ok and a naught of z is equal to 1 from which we have from which we have y of z is equal to x of z into 1 plus summation k equal to 1 to m alpha m of k z to the power minus k because we know that h of z is equal to y of z divided by x of z ok now taking inverse z transform on both the sides we get y of n is equal to x of n plus summation k equal to 1 to m alpha m of k x of n minus k so let us call this one as equation number Equation 3 represents an FIR system with system function h of z is equal to a m of z now suppose that we have a filter now suppose that 
we have a filter of order m equal to 1 the output of such filter is output of such filter is y of n is equal to x of n plus alpha 1 of 1 x of n minus 1 so let us call this one as equation number 4 this output can also be obtained from this output can also be obtained from single stage lattice filter shown below. So here it will be x of n summation at this point here we will put a unit delay system z inverse. So this will be f naught of n and here it will be g naught of n. So after this point we will get g naught of n minus 1 and here it will be k1 and here it will be k2 and at this point we will get f1 of n is equal to y of n and here we will get g1 of n is equal to here we will get g1 of n pause the video for some time and find out the expressions for f0 of n g0 of n f1 of n and g1 of n from the above figure okay so f0 of n is equal to g naught of n is equal to x of n because the input branch is divided into two parts and uh, the upper part we call it as f naught of n and the lower part we call it as g naught of n and both are coming from the same line so f naught of n and g naught of n are equal to x of n now f1 of n can be written as so f naught of n we get two lines one line from f naught of n and another one line from g naught of n minus 1 are added in the adder unit and then it is represented as f1 of n so from this figure we can write it as f naught of n plus k1 g naught of n minus 1 so we know the values for g naught of n and f naught of n so we substitute those values in this expression here so it can be written as x of n plus k1 x of n minus 1 so let us call this one as phi u a equation number phi u a similarly g1 of n is equal to k1 f naught of n plus g naught of n minus 1 which is equal to k1 x of n 
plus x of n minus 1. So let us call this one as phi u b. Okay. Now we will compare equation 4 and 5. By comparing equation 4 and 5, we get alpha 1 of 0 is equal to 1 and alpha 1 of 1 is equal to k1. These are the references. Thank you.